Are you a coach or consultant who is tired of hearing, I can't afford it? Then do stick with me for the next couple of minutes because I'm going to explain to you exactly why this is going on and why the answer isn't to lower your prices or to go try and build a whole new audience. I'm Bernadette Doyle and for the last 16 years I've been helping thousands of people just like you to get clients online, grow your business, get more clients with ease and I'm here to tell you that this very common objection that comes up time and time again, I can't afford it, isn't to do with the client's ability to pay or their financial circumstances, has much more to do with their perception of value. Let me explain. People will always find money for the things that they really want, the things they really value. It's the reason why a single mother will take a second job to pay for her child's music lessons. And the thing that happens is when as salespeople we hear, I can't afford it, often there's a temptation to clam up because we think, okay, this is a statement that, of, of, of fact, this is a circumstance that we can't influence at all. But what I've learned from doing this for over two decades is that often when a person says I can't afford it, it has so much more to do with their perception of value about what's being offered and their desire to make change. So... The next thing is, you're probably wondering, well, how do you increase that perception of value? The way to do that is get really, really good at contrasting the costs and consequences of your prospects staying where they are versus the payoff and benefits of them getting the juicy new future that your program or your offer will lead them to. And so the next time you hear, I can't afford it, I want you to get curious. Instead of getting frustrated and thinking, oh, you know, someone else that can't pay me, get curious and think okay what is it that I haven't done or said yet to really contrast and compare those two circumstances what do I need to say or start to communicate so this person in front of me can start to understand those differences and they, this may mean that you need to do a little bit of digging even before you speak to your next prospect of really starting to dig into what are the costs and consequences of stay, someone staying stuck with a problem you can solve what is the payoff and benefits? And I don't just mean financially. You may be offering something that brings people better relationships or better health, but really start to quantify what the benefits are of that. And then the final thing to bear in mind when you hear, I can't afford it, is often one of the things that I've observed is salespeople get very disempowered by they, when they hear this because they're triggered by it. So when the person says, I can't afford it, the salesperson, the coach and consultant takes that to mean, Okay, they, they don't see my worth, they don't see my value, and they're triggered by it, so they're not able then to respond uh, resourcefully. And so if you can relate, I really encourage you to start to play with that, maybe get some help um, working through that, because that's your belief, which is blocking the sales process. That's something coming up in you, which is for you to clean up. And you need to understand that you have intrinsic worth and value, you have that as a human being, and other people may see that or may not, and that's okay too, but it doesn't need to stop you from making sales. The bottom line here is if you've been hearing a lot of, I can't afford it, it doesn't mean that your followers are broke. It means that your marketing is broken, but the good news is you can fix that, starting with some of the things I've shared here today. If you like this, if this has impacted you, I'd love to hear your comments, do comment below, and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.